Hello firewood fanatics, it's Mike with KNL Firewood and today we're going to use that lumber over there and try to make a new bucking table. And there's Rusty. Say hello Rusty. Be right back. I'm going to try to make it 6 foot wide and 16 foot long. this mainly because uh, I've got a new piece of equipment and that small bucking table is just not going to work out so well plus I wanted to make some updates to it I've got a follower um, and I cannot pronounce the name um, it's a real long name um, D-E-U-S-C-H-E-R O-R-D E-N-E-T-I-N-E, -E -E, I think. Uh, just this super long name. Um, but he always watches my videos and he always gives me great suggestions after the fact. So I've threatened to never build anything on my YouTube channel again. And I'll just mention it and see what he says because it's always great, uh, always great advice. So one of the things he said when I showed my bucking table the last time was instead of screwing it down why don't you glue it which makes perfect sense because you don't then you don't hit the screws with the chainsaw so what I think I'm going to do is um, on the edge where I'm cutting I think I'm going to glue the first couple boards down everything else I think can be screwed on there uh, maybe on either edge in case I want everyone to turn the table around uh, maybe that's what I'll do on both edges uh, glue them and in the center I'll, I'll screw them down because I, I don't think I'm going to get out there at three foot. Anywho, um, that's what we're trying to do here. 28, 27 and a half, 27 and a half, 28 and a half, 27 and a half. Okay, they're not all the same length. I don't suppose it's much going to matter. We're just going to have to go with it, see what happens. Because in all reality, I mean, it's going to be sitting out there in a the yard and it's not. It's not level. It's not ever going to be sitting on a level flat like this up here. I got my saw set up here behind the camera. You can't see it. All right, got to cut these to six foot. Oh yeah. All right, so the frame's gonna look something like this. It's six foot wide and 16 foot long. And I've got a few more of those legs to put in there throughout the center uh, to give it some stability. Let's get to putting this together. I'm gonna put it in fast speed. All right, what do you think? So far, so good? Um, some of those six by sixes aren't squarely cut, but like I said, it's just gonna be sitting on the ground. It's not gonna be sitting on this flat um, concrete, but even at that, uh, it's on there pretty good. Uh, I've got 
uh, braces in here. And, you know, I think it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm not a construction guy. I'm not a builder. So um, if you guys are, um, send me some suggestions. Let me know what I can do to support this. I'm thinking about maybe running some support pieces uh, on on the legs, maybe underneath. I don't want it to be a tripping hazard, but put them down there. So I'm gonna lay them across the top now. We'll see what happens. If I glue these outside boards down out here and I need to replace them, that's going to be tough. So why don't I just affix them on the ends with some screws and I'll have all this space to cut, right? Then I won't hit anything. I think that's the answer. See what it looks like, but I think, I think that might work actually. And of course I've these are 16 foot boards and I put a two by six on the outside of that. Um, so now we're six, 193 and a half inches. So I'm an inch and a half short. So I'll probably just have to stagger these boards. There again, it's like kitchen cabinets. And a little space in between. Let sawdust fall through, let's go with that too. about it and knew it was there I'm running low on battery so I'm gonna turn it off for a minute uh, I'll come back with the finished product I think okay well as promised here is the uh, finished product I had to put some bracing underneath there it's not a very good picture I'm gonna put some bracing under there uh, so I could pick it up with the forks. Uh, I think that's going to be secure. It's balanced pretty well. Right now it's just bouncing on. Oh, I don't like the way it's balancing, but it's on there. So whatever. I'm not going to be moving it around a bunch anyway. Move it to one area and kind of leave it. So 16 foot long and 6 foot wide. Uh, I'm going to put some braces out here on the front edge you know, out here to stick up a little bit to keep the logs from rolling off uh, but that's it the new bucking table so I've got this table out here in the wood yard this is not its final resting place but I told you earlier I got a new piece of equipment that I needed this bigger table because that little one just wasn't working uh, in order to get my yard cleaned up here I needed a, a bigger surface I'll go show you the new piece of equipment just be a little teaser and then next week I'll do a, a maybe a full video on it